I'm Mrs. D. Welcome to Bio 101 Lab. So this semester, a lot of you may be starting out at home before you come into the lab. So we wanted to set you up with some of the safety features of the lab so that you'll be prepared to hit the ground running when you come in. So first off, like most labs, no food or beverages in the lab. Leave them outside the door when you come in. You can also put them in your backpack, which you'll stow right here on this rack so we're not tripping over backpacks and coats when you come in. When you come to lab, you need to be dressed appropriately. So if you've got long hair, you're gonna wanna pull it back in a ponytail or a bun to keep it out of the chemicals that you're working with and keep it out of your uh, experiment. You're also going to wanna have relatively close sleeves. You don't want anything long and flowy to hang over a open flame. You're gonna to wanna to have long pants that cover your skin. These shredded up pants that may be very stylish aren't very helpful when you're sitting at your lab bench and you spill chemicals and things on your lap. So you want to have long pants on that aren't really shredded. You also want to have closed toed shoes. That way if you drop a beaker or chemicals or anything, your feet are protected. You'll come into the lab and you'll pick up a pair of gloves and some wipes to take back to your lab bench and wipe it down. It's everybody's responsibility before every class to wipe down your area to protect yourself against COVID. So speaking of COVID, we'll be dividing up the labs. So you only be in the lab with a third of your class. That way we can maximize the social distancing. So you'll be there with your partner. Of course, it's hard to social distance with a partner that's working a couple feet from you. So in addition to the masks that are required, everybody must wear a face shield. So let's take a tour of the lab and see some of the other safety features we have. So when you start at the front right-hand corner of the lab, you have your microscopes and cubbies. They're numbered. You'll get a number and that will be your microscope that you use all semester. When you finish using it, we've got some wipes up here on the bench that are marked for microscopes only. You'll use those to wipe off the eyepieces. Next, we walk down to the bench and you'll see up in the cabinets, glassware, hot plates, all sorts of things that you may need for your experiments. Everything that you need that day should be lined up on this bench. So if you're cutting up potatoes for an experiment, all the potatoes and the razor blades and everything will be on the bench. We'll be doing some work with slides and razor blades. If they need to be thrown away, like if you've broken a slide or some of the glassy uh, covers, they go in these sharps containers. Do not throw broken slides or razor blades in the trash. You have to put them in the sharps container. Here's our hot plates and things. We also have extra equipment in these drawers. So if you need some extra scoops or spatulas or, or uh, mortar and pestles, they're in these drawers. You also have some of your equipment or materials on your own lab bench that you'll be using for just your team when you come in during the day. And if you need some extra things like your rulers or a stirring rod or tongs to pick up hot beakers, those will all be in your lab bench drawer. So this is the fume hood. This is our ventilation system for the lab. It's also a way to protect you from hazardous fumes. Sometimes we'll be using things like ethanol and we'll be boiling things and we'll need to get rid of those fumes to keep you safe. So you would open up the sash and do all your work under the fume hood, kind of like the range hood uh, fan over top of your stove when you set your macaroni and cheese on fire. It gets those fumes, that smoke out of the way. This will take those fumes out of the way to keep you safe. If it's not in use, you need to always keep this sash closed. So next up we have the cardboard container for larger broken glassware. So accidents happen. Don't try to hide a broken beaker in your lab bench drawer. Let me know and then put it in this box. This is not for trash. Also back in this corner, we have some other safety things. There's a first aid kit. There is a fire blanket. If heaven forbid, somebody catches on fire and you want to wrap them up in a fire blanket. We also have an eye wash station. So you put your face down in here and push forward on this handle and it will put a stream of water through your eyes to wash out any chemicals if you get them in your eyes. We also have the safety shower. Do not pull this handle unless you have some chemicals on you and you have to get them all off of you. This is a shower that goes down and just washes all those chemicals off of you. Shouldn't be an issue in Bio 101 lab. You may see it more in a chemistry lab, but just in case, we've got you covered. 
All right, so our last two safety features in the lab, we've got a fire extinguisher. Fire breaks out, you would pull the pin and aim it at the base of the fire. Don't shoot up at the flames, you shoot down at the base of the fire to make sure to smother it. We also have this handy barricade. This is in case we have to go on lockdown. Shouldn't have to happen, but always best to be prepared. So this would slide under the door. You'd open it up, slide it under the door, pull the door shut, and drop the pin right in the hole in the floor. And that way nobody can pull open the door. And that's it. So welcome to lab. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your instructor. We wish you all a happy, safe educational semester.